Megyn Kelly is making her debut on the third hour of the Today Show this week, and there's a huge amount of media interest, and that's hardly a shock. I mean, after all, she's a very big name. Uh, she was a very big star here at Fox News, NBC paying her $15 million a year or more uh, to be a big morning show personality. And there's certainly room for skepticism about whether or not she can make that transition. Uh, I interviewed Katie Couric when she went to a daytime show after having been on the Today Show after having anchored the CBS Evening News, and it's very hard, and she didn't make it. She lasted a couple of years. Anderson Cooper lasted a couple of years. It's a very different set of skills. It's a very different audience, a mostly stay-at-home female audience. Uh, so people who are trained as journalists, it's a big switch. But I've got to tell you, reading the reviews of how she's doing, and everybody's entitled to their opinion, and she is fair game, of course, but they are really incredibly mean. And there's something going on here. There's such a consistent uh, amount of meanness in these reviews uh, that I think it has more to do with what we're seeing from Megyn Kelly on that stage. So just to give you an example, Washington Post says she's the bride of Frankenstein. I'm not even going to try to explain that, but somehow it has to do with her being this monster was, cre was created and now she's inauthentic. Um, and a lot of them take shots at Fox here. Slate Magazine headline, there's no escaping Fox's shadow for Megyn Kelly. Slate saying Kelly spent years working at a network that made an unparalleled contribution to darkness, the darkness of the toxic stew of cable news. The New Yorker, Kelly had been a picture of competence amid the debauch parade of her former network. Time Magazine, Kelly's work on Fox News, aggressively questioning perceived agents of division in a manner that it was itself cleverly divisive. Isn't that interesting? Cleverly divisive. I don't think you'd hear that said about Rachel Maddow or some other liberal host. So here's the bottom line, which is a lot of these reviewers don't like Fox. Uh, therefore, they're suspicious of Megan. They see Megan as she was on Fox, which was a very tough as nails interviewer. And somebody did a lot of serious segments, political segments, obviously, uh, famously was attacked repeatedly by Donald Trump. And they're saying, well, how can she now emerge as this bright, sunny morning show personality? That can't really be her. And it's not really working anyway. Well, again, critics are entitled to criticize. That's what they do for a living. And it remains to be seen whether Megyn Kelly can connect with this audience. But I can tell you as somebody who worked with her that she wasn't just about interrogating guests and talking politics. She actually privately said a number of times that she doesn't really love politics. And she also, you know, did lighter segments. She has a great sense of humor. She really, her life revolves around her three young children, makes her a mom that uh, presumably some of the moms at home can relate to. Now, I'm not sitting here saying she's going to be a smashing success. I've watched some of the show. There's a lot of celebrity stuff. Uh, there's a lot of package pieces. The Today Show, the NBC trying to make her part of the family. That first day you had Al Roker giving her a bike ride to work, Matt Lauer cooking her breakfast, kind of hammering it over the head. But I do think, you know, let's see how she does. Let's see whether she can connect with the audience to just beat her up because you don't like Fox and you didn't like what she did at Fox or you like what she did at Fox, but you don't think she could do it in the morning. just seems to me that some of these reviewers are bringing their own baggage to the business of reviewing NBC's new star. Now, if she doesn't do hell, there'll be plenty of time to pile on. But it's interesting how much of a role Fox plays in these reviews of Megan at NBC.